Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us today. Well, we've got another pistol video for you here, and this is one that's unique in a way. This is a pistol which has not only stood the test of time, but it is the pistol that essentially I learned to conceal carry with, and that is the Glock 27 in 40 cal. Glock makes a number of pistols that are good for concealed carry, including a lot of new single stacks and a lot of smaller guns. And a lot of people question whether something like this has still got a place in the concealed carry world. And so I guess that's the real question. We're going to explore everything about the 27 and why it would or wouldn't be a good choice. We're going to get into all that for you here in just a minute. All right, once again, welcome back. Thanks for being with us today. If this is your first time coming to the channel, well, thanks for being here. If you're a returning viewer, well, thanks for coming back. In either case, if you haven't already done so, you like our content, please consider subscribing. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner there, or you can scroll down below the video and do it uh, if you're on a mobile device. Either way, we appreciate you being with us. So, Glock 27. Well, I came about the Glock 27 because of a couple different things that were happening. Um, at the time, I was carrying a duty weapon that was also a 40 caliber Glock, and that was the Glock 22 here. And thinking about a backup weapon for this, um, at the time, I wasn't even concerned about whether it was going to be the same caliber or not. And so I looked at several different options for a backup gun. And one of the first things I looked at was the Glock 30. And, you know, it's in 45 ACP. And I thought, well, this would be a good backup gun. And I really liked it. And I shoot it really well. But the only problem was it's just a little big, a little thick and blocky. I just couldn't find a way to really comfortably carry that uh, Glock 30. So I decided to go back to the drawing board. And I thought, well, you know... I really need to have the same caliber magazine capacity with my backup slash concealed carry weapon anyway. And so I went to the Glock 27, which um, was always called the baby Glock. So here we are. Now, today you can get the original Glock 27 and you can also get the Gen 5. And I'll get more into those differences and such here whenever we uh, go into the features. But just to show you that, of course, we are safe and clear on our Glock 27 here. And we always like to start off with the old size thing. And I'm going to do a couple different things here. The first thing I want to do is just compare it to a very popular uh, Glock carry pistol, which is the Glock 43. Now, if you take a look at it, you can see... That as far as your outside dimensions, the 27, if you look at it really closely, it's not too much bigger than the 43. Okay, you've got similar room in the trigger guard, it's a little bit longer, but where you'll really see the difference is, of course, is when you look at them this way because one's a double stack and one is a single stack. So, of course, the 27 is a bit thicker than the Glock 43. Now, but with standard capacities, you got to remember the 43 gives you six plus one of nine millimeter. And of course the 27, you can see this is a nine round magazine. So you have nine plus one of 40 cal. So it is a bit thicker, but you do have decent capacity out of the firearm. If you look at it from the back here, you can see that the grip is actually a little bit shorter on the 27 but like i say it is wider and that is going to make a difference whenever you're carrying it but if you're used to carrying some of these smaller pistols these other subcompacts and you look at something like this it's not really that much thicker than some of the other guns that are pretty popular right now so it's not a big issue so looking at the features of the Glock 27, once again, there's two versions of this. Um, I have the original Glock 27 here, 
and there is a Gen 5 version of the Glock 27. So as I go through the features on this, I'm just going to tell you about the changes to the Gen 5. To me, they aren't worth me getting the Gen 5, and I'll tell you why. But anyway, just kind of looking over the firearm from top to bottom. Now, you can see the first thing you'll notice is the sights. I've changed these out to True Glow TFOs, and I do that a lot on Glocks. And the main reason I do that is because this is what you get on a Glock standard is your little white U-notch and your white dot. Nothing wrong with this. You can take great shots with a sight like this. But I like having the um, fiber optic. It shows up so good in the daytime. Then you have your um, Trigicon component in there too. So it's a night sight and it's a great day sight. It's just a good combination to me and that's what I do on my Glocks. So looking at your slide, on the original 27 here you have these rear serrations. And they're pretty pronounced. On the Gen 5, you also have serrations in the front. So that's one thing that you'll notice right off the bat. Um, you can see your slide release is right here. And it's just on the left side only. You can see these are your takedown levers right here. On all these Glocks, um, they're all the same. You know, all you have to do is pull back slightly and pull these levers down and then of course the whole thing will come apart and I've got plenty of coverage on how to do that but you know once you get that off you're just going to take your barrel and your spring out and that's your basic clean there's not a whole lot to it but something that you're used to seeing uh, your trigger of course Glocks have got their little safe action system they have the trigger safety here then they have two internal safeties um, the grip now this is where there's some differences with the Gen 5 as well. Um, this has got the finger grooves in it and the Gen 5 is going to be flat across the front. Now some people like that. For me, I'm kind of thinking that I prefer this better. And the reason I prefer it, and I've mentioned this in other videos where we have vi uh, pistols have a smaller grip like this. If you can't get a whole hand on the grip, if it's only going to be two fingers, to me it makes so much more sense if those two fingers have somewhere to go. So whenever I grip this pistol, even though I've only got two fingers on it when I'm holding it this way, it feels really solid. I don't in any way feel like I don't have a really good grip on this. So I really prefer the way that feels. I like the new grip on the Glocks, but to me it's, it's only something I would want on a full size grip where I can get my whole hand on it. Of course, this is your magazine release, pops right out. And of course, once again, this is a nine round magazine. And you can use um, a variety of other magazines that are available for it. You know, since the time this has come out, there's 10s, 15s, 16s, 13s, 14s, 22s, there's all kinds of varieties. The main appeal to this, of course, as a backup weapon was that I could take the magazines from my 22, and if I needed to, they could go right into my 40 if I ran out of ammo in my small gun. Then, of course, I could use the magazines that I have. And, of course, you know, Glocks are that way with anything. Um, you know, if you have a the counterpart to this, of course, the 9mm version is a Glock 26. So obviously Glock 17 mags, Glock 19 mags will fit in it. So it's the same way here. And I really like that type of compatibility because it gives you flexibility to do what you need to do. Um, to me, the grip texture is adequate. It's not real pronounced on the sides on this, but it's plenty um, very defined on the rear and of course the finger grooves so once again as i said i feel like it's a very solid grip whether i'm holding it with one hand or whether i'm holding it with two and i feel like that um, it shoots very well in either way one or two-handed now um, other slight differences i was going to mention um, we talked about the serrations well another area that's going to be a little bit different on this is the trigger pull, of course, the Gen 5 has got a slightly lighter trigger pull because the trigger components are a little bit different. Um, so it's a little bit lighter trigger pull and it's a little bit um, shorter trigger distance. In addition, the Gen 5 is just a little bit um, heavier. Um, it's like 70 grams heavier without any ammo in it than the original one. And that's just because of the design changes that went into it. But that's going to be your feature set.
for the Glock 27. Not bad for a concealed carry gun. So as we talk about the range and um, how the Glock 27 performs, I love this little pistol. Um, I've shot a lot of 40 caliber pistols. I've spent a lot of time um, with the 40, and I feel like I can control and accurately shoot the 27 as good as any other gun that I own. I just think it manages the 40 caliber cartridge very well. And, you know, by comparison, I've shot a lot of other 40 caliber pistols that I didn't think were so good. Both um, striker fired, like the Glock, and hammer fired. Um, a really good example, you know, I have a 140 caliber compact pistol that I, uh, that I like, but it doesn't uh, shoot near as well. And oddly enough, I hate to even say it because it's an HK. Um, I love my HKs, but like I've got this little P2000SK, which is a hammer fired 40, and it just doesn't feel like it's as smooth of a shooting gun. And that would be the only time I would ever say that about an HK. But as much as I love this little P2000SK, it is not near as easy for me to get accurate um, rounds on paper than with this pistol here. So I think that the 27 was designed very well around the 40 caliber cartridge. I think did a good job. And um, for a small gun that fits really well in your hand, um, I don't feel like that it's an uncomfortable experience whenever you're shooting it. There are many uh, smaller pistols like this that I don't think are very comfortable to shoot. But even if I spent a pretty good amount of time at the range and I shot several boxes through this, um, it's not too bad to shoot at all. I also didn't really go through a big adjustment period learning to shoot this. As I said, I've got some other 40 caliber pistols. The 40 caliber round can tend to be a little snappy if, you, if you're if you not used to the pistol you're shooting it or if you're not used to shooting 40 at all. It's especially going to be bad. But out of all the 40 caliber small pistols I have, the 27 does the best job. It was very accurate right out of the box. I've never had any issues with it. And I never had any issue with any of the uh, ammo. I mean, I can shoot Blazer, White Box, Winchester, anything that I have ever put to the 27. It does a good job. Um, you know, defensive rounds, Federal, uh, Remington. I've got all kinds of defensive rounds, and it eats pretty much anything I put into it. So it's a good performer at the range. It's easy to get up to speed as far as getting proficient with the weapon, and it's not uncomfortable to shoot. So what's it like to carry the Glock 27 as a concealed carry weapon? I've carried this weapon a variety of different ways. Um, I've carried this in an ankle holster, which is not the most comfortable way in the world. But I was actually surprised um, with its size. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But the two primary ways that I've carried this, it really depends on how I'm dressed. But if I'm, if I'm dressed with an outer shirt and a t-shirt, I've got, you know, something to help conceal the weapon. I, I do like the little black hawk holster here. It does have a bit of retention. I do like that. Of course, this big, you know, paddle here slips inside the waistband. And so you just need a little bit of shirt to come down and cover this. And, um, it does a great job. I've always liked these holsters and, um, and like I said, the fact that you've got some retention in here too, you push that tab and then you can release the weapon. Um, it's a popular way to carry that. And of course, this is also the kind of thing that if I've got big cargo pants or something on, I have a, a proper size pocket. I don't mind just dropping that into a sticky and that can go right down the pocket and I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, I would probably even carry this in the waistband if I needed to because this gun is small enough by the time that my waistband is fixed over the edge of the um, sticky holster here. I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. Now, you've got a lot of other really good options, too, okay? Um, I also have a crossbreed holster, which is Kydex and leather, that fits this, and it's really comfortable as well. It's a little bit bigger. Um, these smaller pistols, I like to try to carry them in something that's more focused, that doesn't take up as much area on the waistband. So... Those two holster options that I showed you there are pretty much going to be my regulars for something like this. But you've got a lot of options. And um, so the question, of course, is is comfort. Well, I was actually really surprised how comfortable it is to carry this. And 
even with some of the other um, single stack options that you have, I don't really notice that it's thicker when it's in the waistband. And I guess it's just because it's it's a, a good proportion design. And when I have it in the holster, I'm not really thinking about how big it is because it doesn't stick up too far when it's in the holster. There's not a whole lot of grip um, to go against the body. There's no sharp edges. So the 27 is as comfortable to carry as any small pistol that I have. And I've done so for a long time. So I've got months and months of carry time, maybe years of carry time on this particular pistol. And I can tell you that you won't even know it's there after a while. Well, talking about overall impressions of the Glock 27. Well, to me, if you started making a pistol in 1996 and you haven't had to make a lot of changes to it, that says something about whether it's a good design. And the Glock 27, along with the 26, um, have stood the test of time. I know a lot of people who still carry these, and the very fact that Glock still has this one available um, tells you that um, obviously they believe that there's still a market for it too. A pistol like this, uh, one of the things I really, really like is, of course, Glock um, reliability. I've got a lot of different Glock pistols, and um, there's been many situations where I literally had to trust my life to something like this. And the way it shoots, the fact that it's not picky about ammunition, um, it is comfortable to shoot. So if you want to do spend a lot of time practicing, this is a firearm that you can shoot over and over. You can spend a lot of time in the range with it and, um, and, and not feel like it's going to be a bad day. <clears throat> Glocks are pretty predictable as far as their triggers, I think. And of course, they're easy to take down and do the basic maintenance on. There's not a lot of bad things I can say about something like this. And of course, you've got your magazine compatibility. And there's all kinds of aftermarket magazines that you can get too. So if you want something that's an extension mag or whatever, there's all kinds of options out there. Um, I just think it's a really good pistol. It's proven itself. And, you know, this is the pistol that I really learned to spend serious time with um, to see what it was supposed to be like to carry a concealed carry weapon in comfort over a long time and Glock reliability is something that um, to me is second nature and the Glock 27 is no exception so I can certainly recommend this as a carry pistol really for anybody um, the 40 caliber round uh, you know a lot of people they're not uh, a fan of it because it's a powerful round and some small platforms they feel like it's very snappy I feel like the 27 handles the 40 caliber round um, better than any small pistol like this that I have. So if you want the benefits of the 40 caliber cartridge in a package that handles it well and is comfortable, and of course the other good thing about Glock is you have a lot of custom options that you can do, things like sights and such. Because it's been around for so long, you have tons of options, and the same goes with holsters. So it's a great choice overall. Um, I think that anyone who is looking for a solid platform um, the 27 is as much worth a look as any other gun. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Once again, we certainly appreciate you being with us. We're going to be back very soon with another video for you. So until that time, as always, everybody be careful and have a great day. Thank you so much.